Nino Kuni 2, I thought that switch up to going to real-time combat was a really smart move. It feels like you have a lot more control this time around, and it's definitely a good thing. You, you've got a lot more skills and a lot more easy people to use right away, and uh, it's just, it, combat feels a lot more important, and, and your movement really matters. I thought everything flows so much better. It's so much smoother than the first Nino Kuni. Um, you're able to do a lot more. You're able to like get in and out of combat. You're able to use your melee attack. You're able to go into uh, use your spells. I love the little uh, assistants you get. Uh, they're not familiars, but they're uh, slightly different in the way they act. You get uh, water, fire, wind. They're all different types of elements, but uh, fantastic. You can shoot all these like bunch of like uh, special attacks, all these ranged attacks. The blocking, it really rewards you when you do blocking at the right time. So yeah, it was pretty intense. I was seeing all these things. They're like, boom, you gotta learn this, boom, you gotta learn that. Very easy to pick up for like beginners like me. Nino Kuni 2 is beautiful. Um, I think that's what everyone's coming to this game for. It has that perfect blend of anime with you know, a J Japanese RPG, action, it's fantastic. The graphics in Nino Kuni are absolutely gorgeous. They are. The characters are super adorable, and um, it's just, it's nice to look at it, which if you're going to sink hours and hours and hours into a game, you want a game that's nice to look at. With it running on the PlayStation 4, it is so crisp. You can kind of see every bit of definition to the characters out there. If you're a big fan of Studio Ghibli stuff, you're going to automatically fall in love with this game. 